The following feature presentation is part of the All For Sci-Fi Podcast Network. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. If you only knew the power of the dark side, Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough! He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. I'll be back. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. It's a trap! The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Or the one. Do or do not. There is no try. From her, you bitch! Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? Bye bye, boys! Have fun storming the castle! Take it away? Goodbye! Hello! My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Stop saying that! So what? I'm You said that. Why so serious? Stop! Stop! I volunteer! I volunteer! I volunteer as tribute! What I do is not up to you. Chewing. We're home. I want to force the force with me. I'm one with the force and the force with me. I'm one with the force and the force is with me. I am one with the force and the force is with me. Welcome everybody to the All For Sci-Fi Podcast. Today is October 5th, the day after Triple Force Friday, and we're broadcasting live from Woodland Hills, California. I'm your host, Eric Walker, and behind me is... Captain Rickster. How's everybody doing out there today? <laughs> Thank you, everybody. we got a lot to talk about. The most exciting thing today is the fact that that we just had Triple Force Friday, which was exciting. Yes, it was. Because that's a lot of toys, oh, as everybody that, right? knows I like. Oh, yes. And um, we have two movies today. We have Lucy in the Sky, we're going to talk about. And we also have Joker. So we're going to talk about both those movies a little bit later in the show. But first, we're going to go ahead and uh, talk a lot about uh, the fact that this is our 20th episode. We've reached a milestone. Thank you, everybody, that's been with us since the beginning. You've seen this grow. Yes, you have. Thank We're you. We're very excited at our growth. And, uh, you know, we can't do this without you guys, the great community out there. We love you guys. Um, yes, we do. Well, hey, our, our, our subscribers on YouTube have already reached 1,100, almost 1,200 subscribers. Which is great. And we just started this four months ago. And even our, our Facebook page, which we're going to transition all this stuff over to the YouTube page and also the All For Sci-Fi Facebook page. So I welcome everybody to please like us on Facebook because eventually we're not going to always be here on the Eric Walker channel. That's right. And we're going to be broadcasting a lot from the YouTube channel. So make sure you jump on over to the YouTube channel, click subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you could get notified every time we upload a video and, and the videos are starting to come. We're real close. Uh, we just did a whole bunch of videos for Triple Force Friday. Those are going to be later today. You you could actually go in and see some videos that we did. We're going to upload those later, uh, probably tonight. There's going to be some videos for Triple Force Friday. And we got all kinds of videos coming out. And Captain Rickster, if I hear you breathing that microphone one more time, I'm going to go over there and slap that head of yours. <laughs> <laughs> I keep hearing this. Come on, dude. You can't hear that in your headphone? 
Uh, sometimes I can, but not all the time. Well, I hear it every time you do it. So please, if you're going to breathe that heavy, back off a little bit, buddy. <laughs> all right, I'll do that best I can for and, you. And that's our comic humor for today. But, uh, oh, no, we just got started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, the two of us, right? The new Laurel and Hardy. You got that right. <laughs> all for Sci-Fi is very proud to be sponsored by Order 66 Toys. Oh, yes. We love Order 66 toys. We love also the community of Star Wars collectors, the CSWC, Steve Spoltor. We love Order 66. We love Josh and Jeff and, and Robbie and everybody, Gingy and everybody over there, uh, Heather, everybody that takes care of everybody. And Order 66 toys, by the way, they're our sponsor, but they are our family. And not only that, yes, they are. They are the world's largest Star Wars toy store. They oh, are yes. awesome. They're, it's an awesome place to go. It is. And they just uh, celebrated by opening in a new location real close to where they were at. They're over, instead of being on Stacy Road, they're over just down the street on Fair, at Fairway Station. They just opened up a bigger facility and um, wow, they're growing. And I'm proud of them too. Uh, do you know they have a Friday night live sale every Friday night? And they have, this last Triple Force Friday, they really, really pulled out all the stops for all of us in the community. They made sure that they had all the toys there. When the Mandal, for example, the Mandalorian sold out everywhere. You can't get it anywhere. In LA. We tried. We tried to go get them. There's three There's three Mandalorian Black Series that have been released. Uh, one at Walmart, Target, and GameStop, and none of them. We went to all three of those locations, and they didn't have the Mandalorian, but Order 66 Toys had it. So I encourage everybody to go on Facebook, type in Order 66 Toys. Oh, Virginia put the link there. So click the link, follow them because they are awesome and every friday night they have the uh, they also have a vintage sale sometimes so they have vintage star wars stuff hard yes, to find do. star hard, wars stuff definitely hard stuff to find yes and you know at very good pricing they're not scalpers pricing or anything like that they're doing it for the community you know their their pricing is very reasonable very close to all the other stores you'd get them at anyway but you're helping you know part of the community in a mom and pop business and that's what i'm all about yes and it will, be, it will probably be there sometime in december also that's what we're thinking. We don't know quite yet, but what are yeah. looking at December? Well, he's just let out the secret. Uh, <laughs> we're scheduled to be uh, make an appearance at, in Dallas uh, coming up for the Rise of Skywalker premiere. And it's not going to be just us. It's actually going to be some other Star Wars uh, alumni is going to be there, including some people that are in the Rise of Skywalker all, are actually right. going to be showing up at the screening in Dallas. So. That's a, in the middle of December, uh, of course, for the premiere of Rise of Skywalker. I will be there in Dallas, and will, along with some actual uh, people that are in the Rise of Skywalker coming along. So we're going to celebrate it with the fans outside of Dallas, uh, yeah. December 20th. Hey, you know, thank you so much, Virginia, for all your help. Virginia, by the way, everybody, Virginia is the moderator of our all for sci-fi yeah uh, she uh, she's she you know a, she does a great job she does a great job and we love her and she's she's always hit there helping us and and she helps push us a little bit because you know sometimes uh we get a little slacking as she That's and i've been true. fired a bunch of times but it's then she re and then she rehires <laughs> me which is good yes which it's, is it's good we, got, we both got rehired yeah so and Again, thank you everybody for joining us on the show. We're going to start getting into some of the goodies here. So let's go ahead and talk about that. Triple Force Friday! It was, it was actually really good. I'm excited. I always get excited for things like... This me gets new toys. Like this. Dun, 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 The Sith Trooper. That's right. I got this at Target. This is the Sith Trooper. Look at this bad boy. It's pretty awesome. Let's uh, let's let's just go over all the stuff. Okay, so here I got the Sith Trooper. By the way, the list of everything available is on our website, allforsci-fi.com. In the latest blog post uh, down at the bottom, Entertainment Earth actually made a list of everything that's available. So if you want to know all everything that's available, then I also got this, even though it's not it. It just spoke to me. But here, <laughs> Darth the, Vader, his daddy. It's not my daddy, you <laughs> funny guy. It's your daddy. Oh, no, not my daddy. Okay, let's see. I just got this from GameStop. This is from the Black Series. It's from Jedi Fallen Order. This is a Black Series second sister Inquisitor. It's an awesome piece. There you go. And 
Let's see what else did I get? This well, you got so much stuff. I know. We're gonna. We're just. I want to show it to all you guys. The th the thing that made me sad was that there was no Mandalorian stuff. Oh, I know. That's that that, that was the pits. Yes, that. Uh, so I was able to get the Sith Jet uh, Jet uh, Sith. Uh, sorry, sorry, I can't speak today. Sith Jet Trooper, which is good. This look, look how nice that is. It's it's a uh, Funko Pop, and I did manage to get one Mandalorian thing. Yeah, you did. I did over at GameStop. Even though the Black Series is not available. I was able to get this Funko Pop. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, I'm trying to make it so they can see it better. Sorry, guys. This Funko Pop from The Mandalorian. Isn't that awesome? Yes, Funko Pop. Yes, wow, it that nice. is nice. Beautiful. Did get one Mandalorian thing. And also from the Jedi Fallen Order, I got that second Sister Inquisitor. Yeah, the question was just asked about Order 66. Yes, they have the Mandalorian toys. They had them last night. Yes, they did. And even after, even in the after party, they had some. They had over. them, and I was and I was so talk to them about getting them. I was able, to, as Virginia said, I was able to get a Mandalorian, a Carbonite one. Um, okay, continuing this forward here. Who doesn't love Dio? And here's Dio's Funko Pop. Look at Dio there. Yep, Dio's beautiful. Dio Funko Pop. Don't, yeah. they, don't they have Dio now at a uh, um, Star Wars Galaxy? No, they don't. No, not yet? No, not they yet. Did. They don't. Not at Galaxy Edge. And here is, from The Rise of Skywalker, one of my new favorite characters, Zori Bliss. <laughs> and Zori Bliss is being played by Carrie Russell. Isn't that awesome? Also, we got, uh, you guys have uh, might have seen this in the past, but a BB-8 Funko Pop. And from and the new Funko Pop of the Supreme Leader, the Supreme Leader himself, Mr. Kylo Ren. Love his new helmet. This is uh, Kylo Ren and uh, the new Supreme Leader from Rise of Skywalker. Don't you like that? I wonder what that red symbolizes. Does any, anybody want to take a guess? And right here, I have, and I like this bad boy too, the new Jet Trooper from The Rise of Skywalker. Look at that bad boy. He is awesome. And another one, another Kylo Ren here from uh, Rise of Skywalker, a smaller one. The new five inch series. They're making them now, the five inch ones. This is cool. Yep. And I, I'm really into Kylo, you can tell. Here's another Kylo. <laughs> the big 12 inch Kylo from Rise of Skywalker. And this is really, we're almost done. This is really cool here. Here's R2-D2, BB-8, and the new Dio all together. Nice, happy family. Nice, happy droid family. <laughs> <laughs> and here is Rey, one of the new favorite characters with Dio and Rey. This is Rey with Dio. So, I mean, as you could see, we have put out all the stops for you guys here at All for Sci-Fi. And I think I'm going to go ahead and make one of these toys available to you guys. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do some sort of a, a contest. And then whoever answers the question right, we're going to put that all in one hat. And then we'll draw a name. And then you guys will get a toy. I'm going to let me decide which one I'm going to give you guys. Give me a second here. You want to talk for a second while I think about this, Captain Rickster? Okay. Uh, the toys are great. I mean, there's a lot of them out there. A lot of them are empty. Just coming in, I think, I do believe they're coming in two phases. I think there's more coming next week that's uh, going to be from the Triple Force. Uh, but, uh, but the Mandalorian is sold out all over L.A. County. Couldn't find nothing here in Southern California. Now, up Northern California, there's a whole lot of them. I think it's probably where the shipment went to Northern California instead of Southern California. So that's not, you know, the best thing to get happen to us down here. But, uh, yeah, I would love to see the Mandalorian and, and from the, the other three companies, all the exclusives would be nice. Correct. And they'll probably be really expensive on eBay. People will probably sell on them because you can't get them down here. So. Right. Uh, don't try to pay an arm and a leg for them because it's not worth it. But mm -hmm. if you can get one, get one for yourself. So. Right. Okay, so I've just decided we're gonna. I'm gonna ask a question, and all everybody could join in on the question. It is a trivia question, and it involves guess what movie? Ewok movies. It's a trivia question for Caravan of Courage. The correct answers we're gonna uh, we're gonna give everybody one week to email us through our website or through Facebook. 
correct answer. And then all the correct answers we'll put in a hat on the next show, which will not be next week, because next weekend we're going to be live at L.A. Comic Con all weekend. Yes. But uh, So we'll have the drawing the week after uh, live on the show. But we're going to go ahead and give this away. So we're going to go ahead and give the new Dio Funko Pop to the person who answers this question correctly. Okay? Don't, like, throw the answer up here on, on, on uh, Facebook Live. Don't type it in. You guys have to send your answer to get this uh, Funko Pop and win it. This one right here. You have to send us the answer, okay? You could send it via Facebook. You could send it via uh, uh, the website as well. Go to allforsci-fi.com and there's a contact uh, uh, page. You can fill out the form and send the right answer. Or the Facebook page. Even the YouTube page. But the, que- the, the question is, what prominent Disney character is sitting in a tree in the Ewok village? It's a famous Disney character, and they're actually, that Disney character is actually in the Caravan of Courage movie. It's a very, very famous Disney character. You have to answer it correctly, and let's just say it's a Disney character that's related to... Uh, that's similar to it's related to Ewoks. That's okay. all. That's all. That's the only thing I'm going to tell you. So now you guys got to guess what Disney character it is and send in your answer. And again, uh, all the correct answers we'll put in a hat and we'll draw them, and then you will get your Funko Pop. We'll mail it to you. So it's a free gift from us. That's right. We're back. Sorry, sorry about that, guys. We lost signal. That was rare. That doesn't happen very often on Facebook, but we'll wait, go ahead and wait a little bit and let everybody come back online. Uh, Go ahead, everybody, find us again, we lost you. Okay, so when we get, uh, we're gonna give it about another 30 seconds. Okay, everybody's coming back. Okay, so uh, once again, we this Funko Pop, the new Dio Funko Pop, this is a giveaway. I'm gonna give this away to the first, not the first person go ahead and answer it and go to all for sci-fi send in the answers on the contact page or send it to us on facebook and i'm going to put all this stuff on i'm going to put the a way to enter on on the all for sci-fi page and in virginia let's also put that uh on the facebook page as well a way for them to enter so they know how to, where uh we'll we'll, po- we'll make a post on the facebook page so just on that you could put the correct answers Let's make this easier for everybody to enter. So anyway, let's go ahead and get back to the show. We had a great time. It was just great. The uh, Triple Force Friday was just just unbelievable. Yes, it was. Next weekend, we're going to be live all weekend long at L.A. Comic Con, and we're going to be covering all of that for you guys. It's going to be a special weekend. Oh, yes, yeah, very special. We're going to try to get as many interviews as we could get. Uh, um, so we're here to talk to you about Lucy in the Sky yes. and the Joker. Yes. So, uh, But before we do that, we're talking about L.A. Comic Con. Is there any, if you guys uh, know about all the celebrities are going to Comic Con, do you have any particular celebrity you would like us to interview? I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I already put in that we want to interview Elijah Wood, Ron Perlman, Doug Jones, and uh, Tom Kenny, I think. The SpongeBob right. SquarePants. If there's anybody else that you want us to uh, try to get a quick interview with, we'll try to do that for you guys. But keep in mind, next weekend, we're going to be streaming every day, so live on Facebook. So make sure you catch us next weekend. We won't have a regular show, but we'll be giving you guys live content all weekend long. Right. Virginia says she wants to do Drake wants us to do Drake Bell. Okay, we'll try to get something with Drake. Thought, since you mentioned that, uh, uh, right. Virginia. So let's talk about uh, the movies. That's what we're here for, right? Yeah, so we're right. here. Let's go ahead and talk about uh, Lucy in the Sky and Joker. Let's start off with Joker. Yeah, you mean joke? Which? <laughs> look, somebody's gonna love that movie. I so hope, they're gonna get I, offended I really so by what does, they're gonna so. get offended by you just making fun of their movie with uh, Joaquin it's, Phoenix. It's DC. That's why it's funny. Look, guys. It's not a Marvel. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's not a Marvel. They really, this movie, uh, although the acting was good, 
whoever oh, it, was great, it was great you did great acting whoever edited this movie i don't i don't i could i couldn't edit this movie i'm an editor by the way i've done that for many many years as my profession i couldn't edit this movie this guy was so crazy i mean we're talking about really insane crazy yeah and it was overdone so much that i almost walked out of the movie theater especially the laughter yeah i just i just couldn't it was funny for the first minute or two, but it just it just kept going on and on and on and on. It just it was horrible. The music over on the other hand w- was good and kind of fit the craziness of the movie. Right, it did. I didn't have a problem with the music. I thought that you know it was great. Uh, the movie itself, I I just cannot recommend Joker. No, I just can't. I can't either. It no just way. it just was. Oh my goodness. It's not. It's, oh, definitely, it it's definitely a movie I would not go see, not to pay that much we paid for it. I'd wait till it comes out on DVD, and if, then if you want to buy it, then buy it and watch it, or wait till it goes on stream and watch it on stream. But don't. I, I'm not. I hate to say anything about a, a movie. I don't talk bad about movies. Um, if you want to go see it, go see it. Don't take my word for it. But you know, I mean, it's up to you. You make the decision what you want to do on that one. Um, it was just, it was it's terrible. Just not one for me. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. Well, I mean, it, and, and that's all I could say too. It's not the type of movie I would want to go see anyway. Although I thought it would be because it's the Joker, right? Well, you would have thought they were hyping up in the trailers, and the trailers just didn't do it justice. After it, that, yeah. Well, the tra- the best thing was the trailers. That was the best thing was the trailers, but the rest of it. Can <gasps> <clears throat> <clears throat> you please stop bothering my kid? Sorry. Arthur, I have some bad news for you. (laughs) This is the last time we'll be meeting. You don't listen, do you? You just ask the same questions every week. How's your job? Are you having any negative thoughts? All I have are negative thoughts. world where everyone thinks they could do my job check out this guy when i was a little boy and told people i was going to be a comedian everyone laughed at me well no one's laughing now you can say that again pal it's so awful isn't it For my whole life, I didn't know if I even really existed. But I do. And people are starting to notice. You think this is funny? (laughs) Is this a joke to you? Murray, one small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? see the movie yeah so you make your own opinion on that one when i first walked out of the movie captain rickster i i thought maybe i I was mixed i thought i thought it was terrible it wasn't the type of movie i would want to go see but i could see how people could enjoy the movie right right so i was thinking about giving it maybe three three and a half stars but now that i've had 24 hours to digest the movie more i just don't give a excuse my language that movie was so bad that i would give that movie uh, let's let's just go ahead here on the all for sci-fi network we have a zero to five rating scale you know five of course being the best and you know zero we're, being the worst zero being the worst and we've only given one movie avengers endgame a five-star rating so right. we don't just give people five-star ratings either no, we're no. i think uh our opinions kind of uh i would say we're kind of uh 
everybody's got an opinion like they say, right? That's true. <laughs> but I think, uh, Captain Rickster, I think our opinions are probably normal. Yeah, they're normal. On, yeah. An, an average person. But I would give the Joker barely two stars. Yeah, no kidding, because I don't talk bad about movies, and I and I like I and I love movies. And that's, that's my best thing I do is when I have time to go, I go to a movie, and hopefully it's going to be a good one. I've seen a lot of good ones this year, but this one really was bad. It was just, I mean, it was I just, just terrible. Can't, I just can't, you know, say anything good about it, and, except and, for the acting and the music. Well, it, it's not that Joaquin Phoenix did a, a he was he a very a convincing, job. crazy person. But you, you, know the, you know what the you know what the danger is though, Captain Rickster. You know the danger of the way they overdid the the cra- no the craziness well, that's true, the, yeah, the insane that's true. insaneness. The danger of that is you're at one point it starts to become offensive. Yeah, it does. It, you know, it, it becomes a, very offensive to people that are crazy. No, no kidding. Yeah. And everybody has a little bit of craziness in them and uh in in you know dave uh going back to facebook live dave is talking about promoting uh mental illness and you're right dave so it it feels like we're promoting mental illness it was really bad i mean of course it was they overdid it so much it was like watching it was like it was as if they were putting a camera inside in in a mental institution you got that right and usually, you know, you want characters to have depth, right? You're right you know, that. there's another movie coming out, and I watched today when we were watching Lucy, there was a movie for a new movie coming out with Edward Norton. And was it Bruce Willis, too? Yeah, he was in it also. Yeah, so there's a movie coming out that's like around the turn of the century, 40s or 50s. It was our 20s. It's way back. And Edward Norton plays this character that kind of has this twitch and kind of disorder. And mental illness and the way he played the character I could tell is already l- light uh, light years ahead it was much better oh yeah much better and you know Heath Ledger who played the Joker he played a Joker that was kind of crazy but but he, but he did get a great but it was a, a dark but though. it was a dark Joker and it was it fit more within the DC universe and right. then you see him. You see all that. They had loaded it with action. Mm-hmm. Yes, they did. This movie had no action in it. No. All well, it was was sitting, hearing someone be crazy for two hours. I mean, it did have actions action when he blew bit. people away, but no, that wasn't really action. That was him being crazy, killing yeah. people in that, cold-blooded that, that, murder. That didn't happen almost the end of the movie, though. There, there was no major action like it was when Heath Ledger played the Joker. It That's wasn't right. the same a type of movie. This was a movie about watching a crazy guy go off his rocker. And again, promoting mental illness, like Dave mentioned, is not good. No, it's, it's not. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I, uh, this, this movie was horrible. <laughs> the the other bad, the other bad news is let's go ahead and talk about Lucy in the Sky, and which is actually a Beatles song, by the way. It is, and that's what they changed the name to, probably, and came up with that name. Uh huh try to help promote it well they needed it to help promote this movie because no this, this movie Lucy in the Sky was in a very tiny theater and there wasn't more than five people in it yes yeah, if you see the whole show yeah so we went and saw Lucy in the Sky and this was better a lot better than Joker much better this movie Lucy time to wrap it up just a few more minutes I saw my house from space. Not literally, but my life. Yep, there it is. Uh, excuse me? (laughs) Major Goldman has a theory that he can tell who's walked in space just by looking at it. It is more than a theory. You keep your eye on this one. She'll show you how it's done. I'm so proud of you. Love you to the moon and back. You know Michael Collins? Of course, uh, Apollo 11 uh, flew the command module for Neil and Buzz. So you know that after he dropped them, he circled the moon for hours. Inside the module, he wrote, I am now truly alone and absolutely alone from any known life. I am it. I'm it. 
need to get back up there. They're not getting any younger. So you're just gonna have to work harder. Look at you, straight arrow. You've never done a thing wrong in your life. I've done plenty of things wrong. Really? Hit me. Dr. Plimpton said you skipped your last three sessions. I'm giving everything to this program, to the mission. Kills me to say it, but our girl's been pretty inconsistent recently. Cola aboard. Negative. I can finish. Cola. She's tough cookie. Get the latch off. Not everyone can handle the ride. I'm pulling you out of the running for a riot. No. If I were a man, you would. Excuse me? I know what you're doing, but you're going to lose because I'm a winner. This is not a drill, cadet. Grab your stuff. What are you doing? With her, I'm officially beginning to worry. You're acting so strange. I'm good. All systems go. What's it like up there? Only place where anything makes sense. I hear that. And I really, really wanted, I really wanted to like Lucy. In I, the did, sky. I did too because because it, I love Natalie Portman. She does a great job in the movie, but there's a lot of there's a lot of problems with this movie too. Acting was good. The acting was good. The storyline. Uh, that's sucked. the problem. The problem with Lucy in the Sky is it storyline. The storyline. It just kind of and it could have everything that they showed in that movie. They could have condensed it, right? Oh, of course they could. They could have shorter. They could have condensed it and then maybe had a better ending. Mm -hmm. And yes, they you, uh, Natalie Portman's character, I would have liked, you kind of saw her get a little bit of revenge, but it would have been better to see her move on and get real sweet revenge. Right. And I really wanted to root for her because I think it's very important for to have strong female characters in movies. Yes. Just like it is important for men to have strong characters, but I never see them do women characters correctly no, no i don't see them doing it i see them doing it with star wars though right I do, that I the do. woman characters in star, star wars are are just they're they're much they're much better but anyway i really wanted to like lucy so let's go on a zero to five uh rating scale i'm gonna give lucy in the sky three stars so it's getting three stars and as we say three or below you don't have to go so i can't right. recommend lucy in the sky either no i can't either i give it 2.75 actually myself okay so uh, he gets a little bit lower so we're not going to recommend either one of these i'm sorry to be a downer this weekend guys because yeah, it's, it's triple force friday and we're excited as hell this weekend <laughs> until, until we went to the movies until we went to the movies yeah, yeah then, then we lost our enthusiasm yeah. after that <laughs> Sorry. And it's really sad because this is the second space movie. Oh, I know. In two weeks. Although this was much better than Ad Astra. Yeah, much better. At least Ad Astra put me to sleep. This one put me almost to sleep a couple of times. but. <laughs> yeah, and I, then you I, woke I, up. I, and then it started to get better. Better, yeah. And I was, saying, I was liking it. I go, okay, now they're going to go somewhere with the story. And then it kind of ended. Yep. So they did it too late. What they would have, again, what would have been better is if they would have had Natalie Portman's character, who is Lucy... Basically, the movie centers around, it's actually based on real events. So I'm thinking right. that the Lucy character is really Sally Ride, the astronaut Sally Ride in real life. Right. And it kind of had an interesting twist with her, and it started to go somewhere, and then it kind of ended. Mm -hmm. So it if did, they would have yes. took, and then she had a love affair with that slick astronaut, uh -huh. and, and then she wanted to get revenge on him because she found out he was just a playboy. It was a decent movie, but... Again, everybody, I'll give it three stars out of five. So you don't have to go. So don't waste your money and go see Lucy in the Sky. Wait until it comes on Netflix or on, on uh, streaming services. Don't go see Joker. Don't waste your money on that. Definitely don't waste your money on that one. So, yeah. So that's it with these two movies. Again, we're all very excited about <laughs> Triple Force Friday. <laughs> yes, you we saw are. all the stuff that we got uh, nice going toys. on. And don't forget to go as well. And I've said this long enough, but I'm going to go ahead and give away Dio. So make sure you go to the All for Sci-Fi page and look at the question. We'll go ahead and pin that question at the top of the page and then put the, your answer in the comments. Uh, you know who is the what uh, prominent Disney characters in Caravan of Courage, and then the. But next weekend we're going to be live all weekend long at LA Comic Con. Oh yes, that's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot of people there. They're expecting like a hundred thousand people. This is getting big. Yes, it is. It's getting out big. here in LA. It's 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 going to rival San Diego Comic Con, I think. It used to be called Stan Lee Cosicon. 
Now they it was. To you're right. This LA Comic Con we're going to next weekend used to be Stan Lee's show. Yeah. It was a uh, Kazi Con. Yeah, yeah, Kamikaze or Kamikaze, yeah, or something like that. Yeah. So, okay, so make sure you tune in for next weekend. Uh, we're going to be streaming all day long. And uh, if you guys, uh, make sure you guys go and like all our pages as well. We have all the links there, and uh, we're all excited about it. Uh, it's going to be a fun time next weekend, and we'll uh, uh, we'll try to get your Drake Bell. We'll try to speak to him, Virginia. Right. And we'll definitely try to get interviews with Elijah Wood and Ron Perlman, who is Hellboy, and uh, also, you know, uh, the drawing a blank but the guy that could play commander suru in uh, star trek discovery oh yeah commander suru so we're going to try to get doug jones doug jones he yeah. was also in hellboy doug jones was too yeah so we're going to try to get yeah so we're going to try to get him and then also tom kenny who does a lot of voiceover work right spongebob squarepants so mm-hmm. i think your daughter would like uh, us to interview that person in virginia so. yeah no kidding Anyway, thank you, everybody. Uh, please, uh, please take the time to like all our pages, uh, especially like us on, uh, you know, YouTube, subscribe, Facebook, and if you guys uh, have any uh, suggestions, any comments, you could leave them to us uh, on our uh, allforsci-fi.com page. Tell us uh, we're doing a great job. You like our show? Tell us you hate us. Uh, if you uh, have any. I hope, uh, any, I hope you don't hate it, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, the suggestions, keep them coming, guys, because yeah, really. we got another suggestion of another movie, uh, our TV series, that we're going to do. Someone gave us another suggestion. Oh, uh, cool. I think it was, I'm trying to remember who it was, but we'll announce whose oh, name it was. Yeah, yeah. I remember now. Yeah, they just told us to, and it's it's coming up with, their, it's on Netflix, and they're having their second season coming up. And they recommended that show. I'm trying to remember. The, sorry, guys, I'm drawing a blank, but. We'll give you credit for sure. I wrote it down. Exciting times we live in. This is really a great year for sci-fi. It's a great year to for movies. Oh, yeah, We've got yeah. a lot of great movies coming up. Uh, Virginia just mentioned, and we're excited to see it, but uh, we got Terminator 2. Oh, yes. That's and we saw the new trailer. While we were there at the movie theater at Joker, they had the new trailer for Terminator 2. Oh, yes. The third trailer. Looks oh, even awesome. better. It's awesome. I can't wait until Terminator Dark Fate comes out. Uh, speaking of that, uh, coming up, we have also Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, yep. which is coming up. That's going to be another good one. Uh, this month. And we have Gemini Man. Yep. That's so uh, and then we got Terminator, like you mentioned, and we got this Netflix show, which was recommended. So we got, a, and then at the end of the year, we got The Rise of Skywalker. So who can beat that? You know, sci-fi is yeah, know, huh? kicking butt this year. So We'll see We'll see if we see try to beat uh, Endgame. We'll see what happens with the Avengers Endgame on that one, if it tries to beat it or not. Well, there's a lot of exciting stuff. And uh, we mentioned this on the last show, Captain Rickster. At the Triple Force Friday event, there yep. was a major episode nine spoiler. Oh, yes, there was. Yona, Jonas spoilers. from uh, who plays Ch- the new Chewbacca, because God bless Peter May, he passed yes. away. But Jonas, uh, if you go if you go to uh, the Star Wars YouTube page and, and look at the Triple Force Friday event, that live stream, it was uh, last Friday, not this Friday, but the weekend before. At 35 minutes when Warwick Davis, my friend, is talking to Jonas, Jonas talks about Billy D. Williams, and he says in there how great it was to be working with Billy D. Williams, and he had his his Lando costume on, and he's everything's look he looks great, and he's running Cloud City. And I said, "What? He's running Cloud City?" We had we had to play that one back twice, make sure he's actually said that. <laughs> and Jonas, yes, and yes, he did. He did say that, so I'm thinking we're going to get to see Cloud City in the rise of skywalker and that would make sense oh yes it would yes if we're bringing billy d back because he does run cloud silly city yeah that's right cloud yeah, silly silly, silly. Yeah. we're silly folks yeah, today wow i could tell i'm getting tired but it was a, yeah, it's been a great time yeah no, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Captain Rickster, you're gonna get it for that. Uh, nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> Time for laughter. Yeah, I know yeah, that. So we had, we've had a great week, but uh, you know, I mean, we lost our enthusiasm on two different movies. Uh, <laughs> uh, Triple Force uh, Friday was actually the best thing that happened this whole week. It is. And you know, we gotta have fun on this TV show. I mean, on this little show we're doing. Yeah. So you know, try to entertain everybody out there. You guys a little bit. I try to throw a little funny curves in there every so often. I have. I have a prediction, so. though. I predict that, that the next trailer 
And that's the uh, no, more sci-fi news. I know we're trying to close this. Yes. We keep talking, but I know. <laughs> <laughs> He'll add most of it out. I will edit me. most of this out. You know that. Because when you guys see the edited shows, you notice most of the stuff's not in it. Just music <laughs> and us talking. That's it. Um, so <laughs> you guys actually got to tune in to get all this. Oh, no kidding. So, But I noticed uh, that uh, another thing was uh, I think that Endor is going to be uh, in Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, yeah. That's, I really think so. I think so also. I wonder if Wicked's going to show up. Well, we'll see if Mace even shows up. Mace, oh, no, oh, no. Mace will got, not show up. Got, Mace got found. He's, he's some on Tattoo now or Tam, whatever. He's, he's on Batu. He's Batuu, on the yes. Black Spire Outpost. He's not Tattoo. What are you watching, well, Fantasy be, Island? He might be a Tattoo. Looks like one. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I know. It's been a long uh, weekend. I mean, been a long week. <laughs> <laughs> week, weekend, make up your mind. The whole week's been long. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Don't cut this out. This is too funny. <laughs> uh, well, I might leave some of it in there. Uh, okay, now that I have been tattooed and everything, I'm anyway, so it's been great, guys. Thank you for joining us again. Oh, yes. It's been, it's been fun this week. This weekend has been really fun, trust me. Don't forget to go to our YouTube page uh, and subscribe there and click the like, not only the subscribe button, but also the bell sounds so you know when we upload a new video because later today I'm going to have our Triple Force Friday video up there. Yes, you and, will. and over the next course of the couple weeks, I'm going to keep putting more and more videos up there. Anyway, it's been a pleasure. Everybody have a safe week. Be nice to each other. Like my dad said when I was growing up, and I guess I didn't learn a lesson. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have something nice to say, say don't, don't say, say it at all. all. That's right. Yeah, but let's all yeah, let's all treat each other with uh, kindness. Okay, everybody, have a blessed week. Have Take a safe care. Week. Safe week as well. We'll be back next weekend at LA Comic Con. So catch us streaming yes, all three days. Stay tuned for that one. It's going to be good for the next next three days. When it we do will. That one. Yes. All right, everybody. Take care and God bless. All the music on today's episode was composed and written by Eric Walker. To learn more about Eric's music, please visit ericwalkermusic.com.